Hello, you're in time for the online television news update with me, Lynn Komjisha. Uganda police this week marks a century and a decade of policing. The force was established in 1906 to entrench and protect the colonial administration. Tuesday marked the start of this year's police week with an objective of bringing police closer to the people. Today, we bring you details of how police has transformed over the years. The first Inspector General was Captain W.F.S. Edwards, who took command of the 1,400 fighters recruited from the ruthless Uganda Armed Constabulary that had been crushing nationalists resisting the imposition of colonial rule, especially in Bugishu, Bunyoro, Bukedi and Langhao. Even then, the new civil police continued battling the stubborn Bugishu warriors on the slopes of Mount Elgon until late in 1907. The first specialized unit of Uganda police was the Detection Unit or CID set up by Captain Edwards in 1908 when he hired a British officer, Captain Young, to set up a fingerprint and identification unit. Before leaving for Nairobi in 1908 and promotion as East Africa's police chief, Captain Edwards also set up the signals unit for Uganda police by training 20 bright Ugandans to man the force's wireless communication. The Rayleigh police was set up in 1929 to escort and protect the heavy trade in cotton, cattle, ivory and timber ferried on trains and ships. The traffic police set up in 1930 to curb the growing number of road accidents after a vehicle census found that the country had whooping 3,619 motor vehicles. A traffic control board was set up as it was with vehicle licensing and the issuance of PSV licenses. As the police celebrates 110 years this week, it has grown to now having about 20 directors and several specialized units. The police is exhibiting all over the country during the week and the public has been invited to interact with the officers of the law. This program is going to be dotted effective tomorrow with different arrangements at the railway grounds where we are going to have different police units demonstrating different activities of the police and allowing in the communities to come and ask the most difficult questions, share with us the experiences, share with us what they think we can do better and get into a law enforcement system that will address everybody in this country. Uganda police has so far had 27 IGPs and the longest serving was Lieutenant Colonel Charles Redick served from 1908 to 1922. The second longest serving is the current General Kale Kaihura who took office in 2005 and is still serving. And now we take a look at Makshan Falls, also referred to as Kabalega Falls, a waterfall located on the Great River Nile between Lake Choga and Lake Albert. The waterfalls are located within the Makshan Falls National Park, which was actually named after these eye-catching waterfalls. Most visitors look forward to seeing hippos, gorillas, giraffes and crocodiles at harbor in the waterfalls and the park. Let's take a look. Speechless is what you become when you visit the Makshan Falls, its beautiful view ranging from the white flowing waters hitting the rocks back and forth to the evergreen vegetation lying on the rocks. The falls are coupled with a national park with vegetation characterized by savanna and woodland. The two are home to many wildlife animals such as hippos, crocodiles, lions, leopards, elephants, giraffes, oribis, Uganda cobs, chimpanzees, and many bird species. The Maction Falls National Park is recognized as one of the best national parks in Uganda because of the so many tourists that visit it annually. Great accommodation to visitors is also acquired from so many lodges surrounding the park who also offer packages that include various destinations within the Great Lakes East African region. Accessing the park is by means of road which takes about five hours from Kampala and also by air to Pakuba charter flights landing sites. 
And that's all we had for you today. Be sure to catch us tomorrow on your tablet, on your mobile phone, online, anywhere, anytime. I'm Lynn Komjisha. <laughs>